A linear array transducer with a musculoskeletal exam type is used to perform an ultrasound examination of the supraspinatus tendon. The patient is in a sitting position with their hand placed back reaching toward the opposite shoulder blade. The examiner is positioned in front of the patient with the transducer placed over the lateral shoulder area with the orientation marker angled at a 10 o'clock position. The deltoid muscle is the most superficial structure and overlies the supraspinatus tendon. The subacromial subdeltoid bursa is seen as a thin, dark, hypoechoic line between the deltoid muscle and the supraspinatus tendon. The bright hyperechoic humeral head is seen deep to the tendon. The transducer is slowly moved from side to side to evaluate the integrity of the fibers. The transducer is then moved slowly medially until the hyperechoic coracoid process can be seen. The biceps tendon will come into view in the mid portion of the screen as a hyperechoic circular structure with the subscapularis tendon to the right and the supraspinatus tendon to the left of the image. The transducer is then rotated clockwise with the orientation marker directed at a 2 o'clock position. The deltoid muscle is the most superficial structure in the ultrasound image. The fibular patterned supraspinatus tendon appears like a bird's beak as it inserts into the greater tuberosity just below the deltoid and overlying the hyperechoic humeral head. The tendon should be followed from its proximal insertion anteromedially to its musculotendinous junction laterally to evaluate the entire tendon. The patient is then asked to direct their hand toward their opposite back pocket, palm out, to complete the evaluation of the supraspinatus tendon. The deltoid muscle is the most superficial structure. The subacromial subdeltoid bursa is seen as a thin, dark, hypoechoic line between the deltoid muscle and the supraspinatus tendon, with the bright hyperechoic humeral head deep to the tendon. The transducer is slowly moved from side to side to evaluate the integrity of the fibers. The transducer is then moved slowly medially until the bright hyperechoic coracoid process can be seen. The biceps tendon will come into view in the mid-portion of the screen as a bright, hyperechoic circular structure with the subscapularis tendon to the right and the supraspinatus tendon on the left of the image to complete the evaluation.